Welcome back. Lesotho's election results are expected in today. After the weekend's election results, main opposition leader Tom Tabane had won the most seats, clinching 48 of the 80 directly contested constituencies, while his arch enemy and current Prime Minister Pakadita Mosesidi had won only 16 seats. Another 40 seats in the 120 member parliament will be allocated on a proportional representation basis. Election observers in Lesotho have raised concerns over the overlapping roles between the army and the police. This after the Lesotho IEC expressed shock that the army had been deployed at polling stations over the weekend. This was contrary to earlier undertakings that the army's only responsibility would be to transport voting materials to hard to reach areas. The deputy prime minister had earlier on made a commitment that all parties would accept the results. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now on the line by our correspondent in Lesotho, Ntokwana Ngatane. Ntokwana, good to talk to you. So we're still waiting for those results to come in. But going into these elections, there was the expectation that they would lead to another unruly coalition government and the risk of deepening instability. What's the feeling at the moment? Good afternoon, Natasha. Yes, uh, 69 constituencies published so far. 48 of them have gone to the Obasutu Convention, but uh, 17 now have gone to Bagadi Tamo CCD's Democratic Congress, and uh, the other ones have been uh, spread between the Sutu Congress for Democracy, that is four other parties. Now, uh, at this point in time, Natasha, as you've indicated, those 40 proportional representation uh, seats are key in determining who, at the end of the day, has how many seats, and only when the Independent Electoral Commission has agreed with party agents uh, at the results center and they have allocated those seats according to how many votes were cast nationally for each party will we know who comes out with what portion of that National Assembly of the over 120 seats, and only then can we start talking about who is likely to go with whom in a coalition. Natasha? But uh, Tom Tabani has won most of those seats, gauging uh, the results that have come in over the weekend from last night. Yes, he has. But um, as I say, he would need to have 61, whether his party alone or his party and its allies will need to have at least 61 seats. That is 50% plus one to be government. Natasha. All right. What will be uppermost on the agenda for the government to tackle? I mean, what kind of promises have they made to the electorate? And will they stick to these promises, do you think? The first thing that all of the parties have agreed, and, uh, and, and I think not only agreed, realize that it's necessary, because otherwise we wouldn't have gone to another election if that had happened. It is the reforms of the Constitution, the security sector, the, the judiciary, the public service, so all of these uh, reforms uh, will ensure that the next government that comes in will have at least a good term of five years or will be stable enough to last five years. Because as African Union has now advised, one of the biggest problems is that the Constitution does not support legally, does not support the electoral model. Uh, things like floor crossing uh, are not provided for in the Constitution, yet uh, the electoral model now has, has brought them to the fore. So things like that, if they're addressed in the Constitution, in the reform, in the review, perhaps will give Lesotho another government. So that is topmost. And they have agreed with SADAC, they've agreed with stakeholders and observers. They have signed a pledge that says that as soon as the new government comes in, it will hold a national multi-stakeholder dialogue to ensure that reforms happen and they happen inclusively. Natasha? All right, Ntakwana, thank you so much. We'll leave it there. We'll get more from our correspondent in Lesotho, Ntakwana Gatane, as we are expecting those results in these crucial Lesotho elections to start coming in from the soft.